Well, at this hour, efforts continue to find the bodies of the three construction workers who remained encased in the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. We have new video tonight of the progress being made at the site to remove containers and debris from the Patapsco River. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren stays on this story for us, live there on the scene there in Dundalk. And Mike, where do things stand tonight? Steady progress, Stefan, and you heard Derek mention those winds. We're certainly feeling them here, and I'm sure the crews are just a short distance from me out on the river. Now, the governor announced today more help is coming for businesses and workers who rely on the port, including grants of up to $200,000. But first, the latest on those salvage and recovery efforts. New video shows crushed gravel from the pavement of what was the key bridge being removed from the Patapsco River, a painstaking process. Over the past week, teams have removed a little more than 20% of the 178 containers they must take off the dolly to refloat the massive cargo ship. More new video shows steel from the bridge on a barge. First, we must clear wreckage like steel and... A U.S. Army Corps of Engineers animation shows the plan still on track to open a third deeper channel to allow more access to the port of Baltimore. At a depth of 35 feet, this will allow three major car carriers one-way traffic in and out of the harbor. While this is taking place, we must work to refloat the container ship Dolly and move it away from the Federal Navigation Channel. This big span is about 240 feet across. And this is the area that we're going to be cutting. We've actually started cutting it already. It's about 1,500 tons. According to data from the University of Maryland, the bridge's collapse has in some cases doubled travel times for trucks detouring around the beltway or through the tunnels. We can see that I-95, I-895, and I-695 around the western side are experiencing significant impacts as shown by an increase in red and purple on the roadways where they used to be green. I urge all members of this body to join me in voting to pass the Baltimore Bridge Relief Act. Maryland's congressional delegation just introduced legislation that would mandate the federal government pay for all of the costs of a replacement bridge. This bill is a step towards accomplishing everything we said we would do 100% of the way, plain and simple. Maryland's delegation also paid tribute to the victims on the House floor and expressed hope that those three bodies would be found soon. Reporting live in Dundalk, Mike Helgren, WJZ.